Welcome back to our channel and our topic for today is about the history and how the aqueducts in Rome was made. The Roman aqueducts. Before aqueducts, the development of aqueduct technology, Romans, like most of their contemporaries in the ancient world, relied on local water sources such as springs and streams supplemented by groundwater from privately or publicly owned wells and by seasonal rainwater drained from rooftops into storage jars and cisterns. Why aqueducts? The reliance of ancient communities upon such water resources restricted their potential growth. Rome had several springs within its perimeter walls but its groundwater was notoriously unpalatable. Water from river Tiber was badly affected by pollution and waterborne diseases. The great and highly advanced Roman waterway system known as the aqueducts are among the greatest achievements in the ancient world. The running water, indoor plumbing, and sewer system carrying away disease from population within the empire wasn't surpassed in capability until very modern times. The aqueducts, being the most visible and glorious piece of ancient water system, stand as the testament to the Roman engineering. Some of these ancient structures are still in use today in various capacities. The Romans constructed numerous aqueducts in order to bring water from distant sources into the cities and towns, supplying public baths, latrines, fountains, and private household. Waste was removed by complex sewage system and released into nearby bodies of water, keeping the towns clean, free from effluent. Aqueducts also provided water for mining operation, milling, farms, and gardens. Aqueducts move water through gravity alone, being constructed along a light downward gradient within conduits of stone, brick, or concrete. Most were buried beneath the ground and followed its contours. Obstructing peaks were circumvented or, less often, tunneled through. Rome's first aqueduct supplied a water fountain sited at the city's cattle market. This is the diagram of the aqueduct using gravity to deliver million of gallons of water every day into the city. The reservoir is uphill and there is a certain angle of aqueducts so that water can run freely. Pont du Gard, part of Nimes Aqueduct. Until now, this aqueduct stood still or still standing even though there are a lot of forces of nature that it encounters. Here is the cross section of the Roman aqueduct. Here is an asymmetric tough view of how water is filtered from the source. The material used in making or constructing aqueducts are built from combination of stone, brick, and a special volcanic cement called the Puzulana. The maintenance of the water system was continuous task and the Romans assigned a curator aquarium to oversee this undertaking. 
paid laborers, slaves, and the legions all had parts in building parts of the water system. The curator Aquarum maintained the aqueducts of Rome, while similar curators oversaw those in the provinces. What are the uses of the aqueducts, civic and domestic, in farming and industrial work? Why is that there is a decline of the use of the aqueducts? With the fall of the Roman Empire, some aqueducts were deliberately cut by enemies, but many more fell into disuse through lack of organized maintenance. Their failure had an impact on the population of cities. Rome's decline from its high of over 1 million in the imperial area or imperial era to as low as 30,000 in the medieval era. Observation made by the Spaniard Pedro Tafur, who visited Rome in 1436, reveals misunderstanding of the very nature of the Roman aqueducts. Examples The Pont du Gard is an ancient Roman aqueduct that crosses the Garden River in the south of France. The bridge is part of the Nemes Aqueduct 50 km system belt in the 1st century AD to carry water from springs at Uzis to the Roman colony of Nemausus or Nemes. Located near the town of Bers Pont du Gard, highest of all elevated Roman aqueducts is the Pont du Gard. Construction end 40 to 60 century AD. Construction cost 30 million sister says. Estimate. Closed in 6th century AD. Here is the Pont du Gard aqueducts still stood today as the landmark and monument of the marvelous engineering of Roman architects. Another aqueduct still stood today, the Aqua Claudia. Well guys, thank you for viewing and answer questions at the end of the video. Thank you. Okay, class, here are the questions about the Roman aqueducts. Answer these questions in white band paper, short size, and send the JPEG or pictures into our Google email or hand it in in our Google Classroom and keep the hard copy for it will be collected before finals. Here are the questions. What material were Roman aqueducts? made of number two what problems did aqueducts solve number three who created the roman aqueducts number four who benefited from the aqueducts number five are romans aqueducts still used today six how many roman aqueducts are still standing now or today Number 7. How did the Roman aqueducts work? Why was Roman aqueducts important? Or why was Roman aqueducts so important in the Roman society? How did Romans make water flow uphill? Okay, those are the questions for you to answer guys about the marvelous structure the aqueducts made by the Roman engineers. Thank you for viewing and listening and don't forget to subscribe and make a lots of comments on every videos for your comments will serve us your attendance. Ciao for now!